say it ain't so. Another extreme winter storm, paralyzing traffic, grounding flights. This morning, turn it first to Ginger Z and Good Morning America's Extreme Weather Team, only on ABC. Hello to our fans online. I'm John Muller. And I'm Marcy Gonzalez with the top stories on this Thursday, February 13th. It is day two of that mammoth winter storm for the south and the snow and ice barreling up the east coast right now. Heavy snow is forecasted from North Carolina up into northern New England, bringing transportation to a standstill. Federal offices in Washington, D.C. are closed today. The New York City area is expecting up to eight inches of snow, while other areas in the east are bracing for a foot or more. O.J. Simpson reportedly on a hunger strike in jail. The National Enquirer says Simpson is so determined to kill himself that he stopped eating. The former football great is serving 33 years for armed robbery and kidnapping. He's eligible for parole in 2017, but reports say Simpson thinks he will never be set free. A heartbreaking sight for car enthusiasts everywhere. Eight classic Corvettes swallowed up by a sinkhole 30 feet deep inside the National Corvette Museum in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Among the casualties, a priceless 1962 Corvette. Engineers are still trying to figure out how to get the cars out of the sinkhole and whether that hole is even finished growing. It hardly seems like winter in Sochi, and here's why. Temperatures in Sochi reaching into the low 60s yesterday. Perfect for a little midwinter trip to the beach. Sochi's admittedly rocky Black Sea coastline full of sunbathers yesterday. Some folks were even brave enough to take a dip in that water. Among them, our own ABC correspondent there, Matt Gutman. He is expected to be uh, maybe taking another dip today because the weather is supposed to be about the same. Clear skies being reported in the mountains. No signs of snow. 55 degrees. A little chilly to be swimming, chilly. but I'll take that weather over yes. hours any day. I'm with you. All right, get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm John Muller. And I'm Marcy Gonzalez. Thanks for watching. This is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it. Two brothers torn apart, one adopted living in America, the other stranded overseas. Tonight, the family fighting to reunite them. There was never a thought that we wouldn't return to bring him home. Their unprecedented plea on World News with Diane Sawyer on ABC.